In this bulletin, 3D printer fingerprints, OEMs raise cartridge prices, and a new printer that can fit into your pocket are among the top printer consumable stories this week. Hello, I'm David Gibbons. Let's look at the top 10 imaging news stories for the week. Xerox heads up the news with three breaking stories this week. Information gathered from the US Securities and Exchange Commission reveals Xerox chairman Ursula Burns has sold off almost 75,000 of her Xerox shares worth almost three quarters of a million US dollars, ahead of the company's split next month. The company is also dealing with five lawsuits, including two class action suits, a former employee disability suit and a former employee gender discrimination suit. At the same time, Xerox has launched printers for small business, claiming they can have access to all the functions enjoyed by those who print in big business. The WorkCenter 6515, for example, can print both sides on a single pass and customise workflow by using a 5-inch touchscreen. Kodak has shared the results of its third quarter financials. It will relocate its Swiss offices to the UK in early 2017 and will sell off its struggling Prosper Inc. business later in 2017. One remanufacturer is using the recent OEM price rise in printer cartridges as an opportunity to gain more market share from the OEMs. Clover, the largest aftermarket supplier of cartridges in the United States, has urged distributors to offer lower prices for consumers while enjoying a larger margin for themselves. Clover claims its cartridges can save users 30% without compromising quality on its green swap program. And in this week's wrap-up, we learn new fingerprint gloves can be manufactured so similar to human skin they can even fool fingerprint scanners. Researchers at Michigan State University are able to replicate the ridges of fingerprints precisely. They admit their 3D printed glove could, if ended up on the wrong hand, be used for criminal purposes. But you need a $250,000 printer to make them. And an Israeli company has developed a new mobile printer that can fit inside your pocket. With a width and height of about 10 centimetres, Zuta Labs has simply put a print head on a set of small wheels. The new mini printer takes up to 60 seconds to run across a sheet of paper. The new printers are expected to hit the stores early 2017. And for all the details of these stories and other breaking news every day, go to irecyclingtimes.com or get a copy of our monthly news and views magazine with Uninet's Mike Josiah on the front cover. Josiah has produced more than 400 technical support papers over the last 23 years. Thanks for keeping in touch with This Week Today. I'm David Gibbons.